Hello everyone. I am Ashwin Kulkarni. Welcome you all in this quantum computing learning journey. I hope you are all doing safe and you are all learning something new every day. So, uh most of uh, most of you uh who have been following uh me till now. Uh so we have covered the basics of quantum computing, why it is essential in future and what is the scope of it and then uh how to write an algorithm for a quantum computer how to demonstrate it how to write a code for it till now we have done uh, all these things but now it's the time to get deeper into it and uh, get the basics done about it and learn the core concepts of it and learn the um uh, basic bits and pieces about quantum computing so from today onwards we are going to start about quantum gates so in today's video we are going to start uh with a single qubit gate and to be specific pauli uh gates uh for single qubit gates so i hope uh, you are going to like it let's get started okay so let's jump into the single qubit gates right now before going uh, deeper uh, into those gates and uh, discuss about them first let's understand what are single qubit gates so uh, the name itself suggests that single qubit gates are those gates which only deals with one qubit at a time uh, so just for an example we uh, dealt with different uh, gates in our uh, previous videos uh, in in half hadron circuit so for example we dealt with um, uh, the x gate or not gate or c not gate or toffoli gate etc etc now just pause the video and think about it which were the gates uh, which uh, dealt with only one qubit at a time so uh, you must have got an answer that is x gate uh, simply so for example what is that x gate uh, was doing so it was just transforming zero uh, qubit state zero to one or vice versa at a time it it was dealing with only one qubit at a time on a contrary if you see c not gate or toffoli gate which uh which deals with two or three qubits at a time uh so uh, so basically uh, let's say c not gate uh, deals with uh, control and target bit and uh, performs on it and toffoli gate uh, deals with three qubits at a time now uh now these so so these are called single qubit gates which deals with only one qubit at a time now today uh, among all of those single qubit gates which uh, we are going to uh, discuss about pauli gates now what are pauli gates and why that particular name okay so a uh, pauli gates uh, are based on the pauli matrices or pauli uh, operators to be precise now why uh, the, those gates uh, got name as pauli gates because uh, those are dependent i mean those are dependent on the pauli operators defined by uh, renowned physicist wolfgang pauli who has received a nobel prize in physics uh, for his work in 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 the electromagnetic field or quantum uh, uh, quantum mechanics as well so basically basically in you know, a physics to be uh, to be on a broad scale now uh, these uh, pauli gates are used in quantum mechanics where uh, where where the these were used in pauli equation which deals with the spin of of a particular uh, atom uh, with uh, respect to the electromagnetic field and same spinning effect we are uh, going to look into quantum computing as well a single qubit has a spin effect and uh, that has a correlation with uh, that pauli equation but we are not going into that uh, deeper if you are interested you can check it out um, uh, there are many resources available for that now based on that uh, our our uh, gates uh, got uh, got its name as pauli gates because our gate has the same matrix representation as those pauli uh, operators now there are uh, these pauli operators are defined by greek letter called as sigma as you can see on the screen there are four of them uh, sigma 0 sigma 1 sigma 2 sigma 3 now sigma 0 is uh, is defined as 1001 which which uh, uh, which remains the state of input um, uh, input matrix as it is as output matrix now sigma 1 sigma 2 sigma 3 per 
perform some transformation on the input matrix so for example when you apply uh, when you apply something to it for example here i am uh, doing uh, when you apply something to it let's say one zero any matrix to it it will um, it will perform something to it uh, which is zero and one if you do uh, matrix multiplication so so the this is it and the uh, respective two uh, does the same thing now these set of matrices are two by two matrices uh, two cross two matrices and which follows three properties uh, which are hermitian involuntary and unitary so these matrices uh, follows these three uh, uh, algebra properties uh, you can go check them out as well uh, now moving on so our quantum gates which we are interested uh, known as pauli x pauli y and pauli z gates are dependent on these uh, above um, matrices so uh, from above uh, from from the matrices which we have discussed as sigma 0 1 2 3 our pauli x gate is same as sigma 1 pauli y gate is same as sigma 2 and pauli z gate is same as sigma 3 so how it is going to transform uh, the input qubit to the respective uh, some some output qubit state we are going to um, we are going to learn in the upcoming part let's start with pauli x gate uh, so uh, simply as i already told you pauli x gate uh, correlates with sigma 1 value so the simple rep matrix representation of x gate is 0 1 and uh, 1 0 right so now when you uh, when you try to apply that x gate on any particular qubit state so this state is 0 we already know that x gate acts as a NOT gate so it should flip 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 so simply the similarly if you apply x gate on the 0 qubit state uh, you should get output as 1 so the simple matrix multiplication happens here where this gets multiplied with this and this gets multiplied uh, with uh, actually this gets the first um, column gets multi uh, first uh, row gets multiplied with first column and the second uh, si similar to that okay now you should get uh, you should stop the video here and try to uh, try to perform the same operation on qubit state 1 you should get output at 0 right so now uh, similarly it it uh, it can uh, flip the states of your qubit to its complementary states now that's why it called as bit flip gate so it is not uh, it is not changing the phase of your qubit it is just changing the value the, the bit value of it now uh, let's understand the effect of x gate on a superpositioned uh, qubit now yeah, let's assume that uh, we have a qubit q in the form of superposition where we have some degree uh, some degree of uh, 0 and some degree of 1 qubit state uh, involved into it having an amplitudes um, having amplitudes as alpha and beta now when you apply uh, x uh, x gate on that superpositioned uh, qubit which is phi you should see the swap between the amplitudes so for example when you do this, uh, uh, so you, you you should multiply zero with alpha and one with beta. So your first um, first row will get beta, and then one with alpha and zero into beta, your second row gets alpha. So you so now if you try to represent this into form of superposition, then you should get uh, first row associated with uh, zero qubit state and a uh, second row associated with the one qubit state and that's how you get uh, your amplitude swapped uh, into it so that's why uh, this is how a simple x qubit uh, x gate acts on on a single qubit now let's look at the y gate um, it directly correlates with the sigma 2 gate of uh, pauli uh, matrices okay so if you can uh, correlate it uh, with uh, like that so you can see your y gate is represented as 0 minus 1 uh, minus i and i and 0 so simply uh, you just don't get confused with this matrix rotation if you want to visualize it uh, you remember i have shown you the block sphere right where you can see the uh, single qubit uh, 
state uh, rotating around in the 3d space now i i'll i'll uh, there is one cool website uh, to see those simulations of these rotations i'll put the link in the description you please go there and try different rotations of uh, qubits uh, with respect to these gates so uh, your y gate is simply a total pi degrees 180 uh, radians sorry 180 radians of rotations around y axis uh, on this block sphere so for example you have this 3d block sphere and uh, your y is this axis then your if your qubit set zero is this then it will rotate to this so this is the one but this is now you will say uh, the, w what's the, the difference between x and y gates right uh, since your x axis is also on the same plane uh, so it rotates around x axis uh, similarly but there is a change in the phase or change in the angles of it for example uh, when you do a y rotation of zero qubit state you will get output uh, as zero i uh, matrix which is of i um, which is of i uh, i value uh, to one qubit state right now uh, for ex uh, so that's why basically this is called as bit as well as phase flip gate you can see uh, the i amplitude got added uh, in front of uh, qubit state one now similarly if you try to pause the video and try to calculate uh, the y gate effect on one qubit state you should get minus i of zero okay you just need to simply do a matrix multiplication and you should get this so the difference basic difference between x and y gate is it still complements uh, your bits but it changes your angle as well that's it that that's the only difference now this particular gate uh, since since while calculating the measurements we actually ignore the amplitude right so it doesn't matter where it is i or minus i because when you square it out it will be always one so while measurement we uh, simply ignore this amplitudes but when you do uh, when you perform this gate in the superposition uh, in the superposition circuit this gate uh, uh, this gate plays an important role uh, there let's talk about last but not the least uh, gate uh, which is called as z gate which directly uh, correlates with sigma 3 of pauli operators now uh, the z gate is simply represented as uh, 1 0 and 0 minus 1 as you can see on the screen uh, which this on the similar basis you might have guessed it it does the uh, pi radians of rotation around z axis on the block sphere so again i i would again highly recommend you to go onto that uh, website which uh, i have linked on the description where you can see all these simulations of gates uh, on a single qubit now uh, here the the importance of this gate is it doesn't change the bit value of it it only changes the phase value of it and that too for only one uh, qubit state for example if you apply z on the one qubit state you should get uh, output as minus of one qubit state but when you apply z on the zero qubit state uh, you should get output as zero qubit state only without any phase change you just uh, go ahead and try the matrix multiplication with the zero qubit state you should get these similar results now this is a quite uh, simple gate again this performs a very crucial role in the superposition states for example uh, we are going to talk about plus and minus in the later videos but uh just assume that your plus plus state is is a superposition state uh, having equal amplitudes for or zero and one qubit states now when you apply z gate on it you should get a uh, minus uh, state which is uh, which is one by root two zero and minus of one so, so basically what it does is it just so when you apply your simply h gate to uh, your one by root two of zero plus one, right? What it will do is it will take your one by root two out and it will apply h of zero plus h of one. And what it will output is simply one by root two of zero 
minus 1 you can try it out matrix multiplication of it you should get the similar results now this is called as minus state which is again a superposition state having equal amplitude of 50 percent uh, probability but with the phase change so we are going to uh, when we uh, move to Hadamard gate uh, we are going to learn about this plus minus states but this is what you need to know about z gate that's it uh, so we have learned about x y z poly gates uh, today as we are in the last section of this video the exciting quantum computing uh, news of this week is uh, about QCWare. Uh, QCWare is a leading quantum algorithm firm, uh, uh, one of the leading quantum algorithm firms in the world, uh, who recently won $1.5 million of prize from BPI France, which is a government organization, for development of its uh, APIs for deep learning and finance uh, section. So, uh, the moral of that particular news was there is a top class investment going uh, into quantum computing world uh, many different firm enterprises are putting lots of uh, lots and lots of money into it the governments are supporting it so it's very exciting time to jump into it right now i hope you have liked this video you have learned something new from it uh, and uh, if you have liked it please share it with your friends uh, subscribe to my channel and please uh, link in the description how you feel about that video and if you have any particular uh, suggestions for me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.